The U.S. Special Operations Forces Command, SOCOM, plans to conduct clinical trials of an oral anti-aging drug next year, breaking defense reported, citing service officials. The command has spent $2.8 million in a joint effort with a private biotech laboratory, Metro International Biotech, LLC, Metrobiotic, since 2018 to develop the pill. Lisa Sanders, Director of Science and Technology for Special Operations Forces, Acquisition, Technology, and Logistics, SOF AT and L, told the outlet that SOCOM has completed preclinical safety and dosing studies in anticipation of follow-on performance testing of the drug, which has the potential to delay aging and prevent onset of injury. The pill is a first-in-class nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, oxidized state, NAD+, enhancer, according to Genetic Engineering and Biotechnology News. NAD is a coenzyme central to metabolism. The Metrobiotic website further explained the significance of NAD+, describing it as a key ingredient in preserving health and metabolic function. The United States on Monday promised to lead a collective response against Iran, in retaliation for a deadly attack on an Israeli-linked tanker, as Tehran denied blame and warned against adventurism. The United States and Israel have both said that their intelligence concluded that an Iranian drone on Thursday attacked the Montana Mercer Street, managed by prominent Israeli billionaire Ail Ofer, as it sailed off Oman. A British security guard and a Romanian crew member were killed in what analysts said bore all the hallmarks of the shadow war between enemies Iran and Israel, which have included attacks in waters around the Gulf. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken called the Montana Mercer Street incident a direct threat to freedom of navigation and commerce. Ultra Electronics have announced that Sonar 2150 successfully completed its first of Class C acceptance trial on board HMS Portland. According to a statement from the firm, this success represents further validation of a new world leading hull mounted sonar that aims to provide improved capability and paves the way for further performance proving activities later in the year. The trial took place over a number of days at sea, operating the sonar, detecting and tracking the target. Ultra add that the digital control of the outboard array minimizes interference, reduces ship cabling requirements, aiming to maximize reliability, and extends array maintenance intervals. The sonar will be fitted to Royal Navy Type 23 frigates. <laughs> Military organizations face increasing pressure to move to a more distributed operational model than ever before, making them less vulnerable to physical attack, but asking serious connectivity and logistical questions. Military operations, in line with the connectivity developments in the outside world, have become increasingly connected. Operations are underpinned by a robust digital backbone that provides the connectivity that allows military organizations to take a huge step towards total asset readiness, tying together the thousands of data steps and processes to provide information for military operators to keep updated on the status, whereabouts and availability of equipment and personnel uninterrupted and in real time. Military experts who have analyzed Al Jazeera's evidence say an airstrip under construction will almost certainly be used for maritime patrol missions by India's Navy. Rumors and media reports about the military base first surfaced in 2018, but both Mauritius and India have denied that the construction project is for military purposes and say the infrastructure is only to benefit the islanders. Satellite pictures reveal how Agalega, located about 1,100 kilometers, 684 miles, from Mauritius's main island and home to about 300 people, is seeing the construction of two large jetties and a runway that is more than 3 kilometers, 1.84 miles, long. It's an intelligence facility for India to stage air and naval presence in order to increase surveillance in the wider southwest Indian Ocean and Mozambique Channel. Abhishek Mishra, associate fellow at the Observer Research Foundation, ORF, think tank in New Delhi told.